All I was trying to do was just do a good thing by, you know, uh, helping my church. When Samuel Woody downloaded an app on his phone for business transactions, he received a call the next day from a third party claiming his account had been hacked. Woody said he was caught off guard and quickly gave the caller his personal information. What he didn't realize was he was turning critical financial info over to scammers. I panicked, naive to what was going on. Woody said the bad actors convinced him to withdraw $3,800 from two credit union accounts and convert that money into cryptocurrency. I got a receipt back and, you know, the whole time this manager was telling me I was going to get my money back and I never did. Woody eventually found out it wasn't a manager he was talking to. It was a scam all along. He filed complaints with law enforcement, the BBB, and some federal agencies to get his money back. He did receive a portion of it, but not enough to really make a difference. I was really upset and, um, mm -hmm. you know, these guys need to be, you know, caught because mm -hmm. they can do other people like that. And cryptocurrency is in many ways the holy grail of payment methods uh, if you're a scammer. John Brio heads up fraud.org at the National Consumers League. He says scammers prefer cryptocurrency because it's immediate and not reversible. But the NCL wants to strengthen regulations on financial apps and cryptocurrency exchanges to stop fraud. I think we're really reaching a tipping point where regulators here in Washington are starting to wake up to the fact that these new fintech technologies maybe sound great, uh, but fraudsters know how to use them too. And it's costing the American consumers billions of dollars and something needs to be done. Not only are scammers using cryptocurrency to get your money, some pose as brokers to persuade you to invest. But be careful. Experts say to protect your money, search online for the company and cryptocurrency name to make sure it's legit before investing. And be careful of guarantees and big promises. If you're a victim of a cryptocurrency investment scam, report it to the Federal Trade Commission, the Attorney General's Office, and the Better Business Bureau. Your case could result in legal action. With this consumer crackdown, I'm Sandra Jones.